Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, tomorrow not as hot, but certainly don't want to give the impression that we have a cool day coming up. It'll be very warm. We should be well into the 80s. Humidity will still be high. It's just that the heat really returns on Thursday. Better chance of getting temperatures then up into the 90s. As we take a look at the numbers outside, it's a beautiful evening after reaching the lower 90s around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, most areas are between roughly 72 and 74 degrees. That includes uh, 74 in Providence. We'll take you into, let's fly into North Kingstown right now. Skies are partly cloudy. Temperatures in the uh, lower 70s. I mean, pretty good visibility. You can see uh, the Newport Pell Bridge uh, off in the distance looking off to the uh, south and the southeast from North Kingstown down towards Newport. And we'll keep partly cloudy skies for the Evening. A little fog may form near the coastline late at night. Nothing too significant. So significantly uh a significant warm up again on Thursday. We're talking temperatures in the low 90s may need a heat advisory all over again and certainly warm for tomorrow. Perhaps not 90, but we should be well into the 80s. And when you throw in fairly high humidity tomorrow, really a very warm day. But notice will be cooler beginning Friday and spilling over into the weekend. Almost a little hint of autumn come Saturday and Sunday. You don't need sweaters and jackets, but it will be much cooler and much drier with low humidity. Skies are clear across New England. The closest thunderstorm activity is way across uh, the Northern Plains and the Upper Great Lakes. We're going to watch this for late Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. In the meantime, we just showed you that report about Tropical Storm Gordon, the latest from the Hurricane Center, still with winds of 70 miles per hour. The center of the storm is just south of Mobile, Alabama, so it's essentially coming on shore right now, just shy of hurricane strength. Flood watches in effect right now with torrential rains and the certainly uh, strong wind gusts. Sustained winds are at 70, moving northwest at 14. The forecast thinking hasn't really changed the track north and west and eventually weakening into what we call a tropical depression by the weekend. It's located uh, across the upper Mississippi River Valley by Sunday. Some of this remnant moisture may try to sneak into our area early next week, not as a storm, but just the chance for some showers come later Monday into Tuesday. Florence, here's New England, the east coast. This is way out in the eastern Atlantic. Category 1 hurricane with winds of 85. Long range guidance still pointing towards the storm, perhaps bending up into the North Atlantic away from the U.S. Maine Obviously, good news. Still want to watch it closely, though, but uh, the long range forecast is promising as far as the U.S. East Coast. Tomorrow morning, sunshine. Temperatures initially in the upper 60s to lower 70s, heading up to around 85, 86 degrees with mainly sunny skies. Beach is not bad. Any early morning fog burning off to some sunshine. Air temperature 80. Water temps been very warm, 75 degrees. Bay forecast a little fog in the morning, otherwise, unlimited visibility on a southeast breeze turning south at 5 to 10 knots. Seven day forecast. The heat is back on Thursday. We're going to watch for some scattered thunderstorms, but not until late Thursday afternoon, early Thursday evening. Much cooler, extra clouds, but comfortable on Friday near 80. Beautiful weekend, that fallish feel. Temps in the 70s, low humidity and sunshine both days with nighttime temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Really feeling like summer next couple of days. I'll have an update tonight at 11 o'clock and meteorologist Michelle Muscatello in tomorrow morning at 4.30 a.m. with your updated forecast. Again, warm in the classrooms tomorrow, maybe not as extreme, but still pretty warm. I know everybody always talks about Labor Day weekend as the end of summer, but my husband and I were remembering that last year we were at the beach, September 16th, I think. Well, there's the calendar version of summer, and then there's reality. Where right. we're in reality. Yeah, uh, exactly. I think I like reality better. What do you think? <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep the pool open, right? Yeah. All right, Tony.